I am Alyssa and today I am unboxing my June 2019 Book of the Month box and let me get into my salesperson spiel. Book of the Month is an amazing subscription service for readers where you get brand new books and sometimes books that aren't even available in the store yet for at least half off the cover price which is amazing and you can actually add up to two additional books to your box every month for $9.99. The first book is $14.99 and then yada yada yada. You get to choose from five different books, but the cool thing is if you don't like any of the books on offer, which are usually different genres, and they're all selected by a different judge, you can roll your subscription over a month and you won't be charged for that month, which is really cool. And guys, let me tell you, they have amazing customer service. I had an issue pop up with this month's box, and as soon as I messaged them on Twitter, they got back to me, they resolved the issue, and they were just super friendly, so they have amazing customer service. And I love this company. I've been subscribed for, I think, two or three years now, and I just, I adore them so much. So, let's see the books I chose for this month. Hey, look, my heart made it. Everything's coming up aces. I'm inside the box, yes! <laughs> Let me get my books. <laughs> So they always come wrapped up in plastic. So, you know, just in case USPS decides to play soccer with your box, your books are pretty well protected. And this month they did send a bookmark. I believe last month there wasn't one, but that might have been because I got the book pocket tote. But this month the bookmark has a quote from Victor Hugo and it reads, To learn to read is to light a fire. Every syllable that is spelled out is a spark. And that is just such a beautiful quote. And like I always say, you can never have too many bookmarks. And especially as a reader, you always lose some or they might get damaged. So to get a bookmark is really cool. The first book I chose and the one that I'm most excited about is Recursion by Blake Crouch. I adore Dark Matter. I still need to read The Wayward Pines trilogy, but I loved the first season of the TV show. But I was really excited when I saw this on the site because I love me some science fiction. And the synopsis reads, Memory makes reality. That's what New York City cop Barry Sutton is learning as he investigates the devastating phenomenon the media has dubbed false memory syndrome, a mysterious affliction that drives its victims mad with memories of a life they never lived. That's what neuroscientist Helena Smith believes. It's why she's dedicated her life to creating a technology that will let us preserve our most precious memories. If she succeeds, anyone will be able to re-experience a first kiss the birth of a child, the final moment with a dying parent. As Barry searches for the truth, he comes face to face with an opponent more terrifying than any disease, a force that attacks not just our minds, but the very fabric of the past. And as its effects begin to unmake the world as we know it, only he and Helena, working together, will stand a chance at defeating it. But how can they make a stand when reality itself is shifting and crumbling all around them? That sounds amazing. If it's anything like Dark Matter, it will probably blow my mind. And I am just in love with this cover. So excited to read this. Ah! This next book has gotten a lot of rave reviews from magazines and websites. And I just really wanted to check it out. Plus the cover is just strikingly vibrant and gorgeous. But that is Necessary People by Anna... If I get this wrong, I'm sorry. Petoniac? Petoniac? I think it's Petoniac. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong, actually. But look at that cover. Gorgeous. And this synopsis reads, One of them has it all. One of them wants it all. But they can't both win. Stella and Violet are best friends, and from the moment they met in college, they knew their roles. Beautiful, privileged, and reckless Stella lives in the spotlight. Hardworking, laser-focused Violet stays behind the scenes, always ready to clean up the mess that Stella inevitably leaves in her wake. After graduation, Violet moves to New York and lands a job in cable news, where she works her way up from intern to assistant to producer, and to a life where she's finally free from Stella's shadow. In this fast-paced world, Violet thrives and her ambitions grow, but everything is jeopardized when Stella, envious of Violet's new life, uses her connections, beauty, and charisma to get hired at the same network. Stella soon moves in front of the camera, becoming the public face of the stories that Violet has worked tirelessly to produce and taking all the credit. Stella might be the one with the rich family and the right friends, but Violet isn't giving up so easily. As she and Stella strive for success, each reveals just how far she'll go to get what she wants, even if it means destroying the other person along the way. 
Now, I'm always interested in reading about female friendships because they can be complicated. I will admit that. And this sounds phenomenal. It sounds like it's going to have a lot of twists and turns and complications. And from the rave reviews I've seen, it's a really good story. So I'm excited to read Necessary People. And the next book is a book from their line of classic books they have on offer you can choose to receive. And that is Rules of Civility by Amor Towles. I've heard so many great things about this. I don't really know what it's about, but I'll read the synopsis so we both know. But I've heard it's a modern classic, so I'm hoping it lives up to those expectations. On the last night of 1937, so it's a period piece, 25-year-old Katie Content is in a second-rate Greenwich Village jazz bar with her boarding house roommate stretching $3 as far as it will go when Tinker Gray, a handsome banker with royal blue eyes and a tempered smile, happens to sit at the neighboring table. This chance encounter and its startling consequences propel Katie on a year-long journey from a Wall Street secretarial pool toward the upper echelons of New York society and the executive suites of Condé Nast. Rarefied environs where she will have little to rely upon other than a bracing wit and her own brand of cool nerve. Wooed in turn by a shy, principled multimillionaire and an irrepressible Upper East Side ne'er-do-well, befriended by a single-minded widow who is ahead of her time, and challenged by an imperious mentor, Katie experiences firsthand the poise secured by wealth and station and the failed aspirations that reside just below the surface. Even as she waits her circumstances to bring Tinker back into her life, she begins to realize how our most promising choices inevitably lay the groundwork for our regrets. So it sounds very, very fabulous, as I'd like to say, you know, very sophisticated. And it seems like it's going to be a very well-written novel. And I'm excited to just read about this time period and to see what happens to Katie if she ends up with Tinker. What happens? Like, I'm just so excited to see what all the hype is about this novel. So those are the three novels I chose for this month. If you'd like to join Book of the Month, use my link down below to get a free book. Yes, a free book, and I'll also get a free book, so that helps me out a ton. And if you like this video, leave a like. Let me know down below if you've read any of these novels, if you're a member of Book of the Month, what books you chose for June, etc, etc. If you like this video, make sure to share it because that helps me out a ton with the algorithm and pushes my video up. Also, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed already, Already, but you like what you've seen and heard, hit the subscribe button. And even if you are subscribed but you haven't tapped the notification bell yet, please do so. Again, that helps with the algorithm and letting my videos get seen. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to follow me on social media sites, those are all listed in the description box down below with the book of the month link. I'm gonna go, but I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye! Mm -hmm.